Hey guys, so we're going through Proverbs still on chapter 10, and we're talking about when to zip your lips. When to zip your lips. Verse number 14, it says, The wise lay up knowledge, but the mouth of a fool brings ruin near. So to, to lay up is to store up or to reserve. Knowledge being wisdom. Okay, and then the mouth of a fool brings ruin. When it talks about ruin, it's just talking about any bad thing that can happen. Right? Any bad thing that can happen. So, you can store up money. Right? You can accumulate money. Um, and when you accumulate money, that means you're not giving out that money. You're keeping it to yourself. Right, so just as you can store up money, you can also store up wisdom. Okay, you can store up wisdom. And storing up wisdom is not just about becoming more and more wise. It's not just um, accumulating all this wisdom and just becoming really, really wise and smart person. It's not just about that. It's about not giving out your wisdom to other people. And that might seem like a selfish thing to do, right? You might say to yourself, why wouldn't you want to give out your wisdom to other people? That seems like the right thing to do. If, if someone needs to be told, you know, uh, what to do about something, uh, if someone needs to be giving, be given advice about what to do because of uh, they clearly don't know what they're doing, Right, whether it's their finances, you know, they have money and they're not spending their money right, and you're like, hey, um, yeah, you shouldn't be wasting your money on this, and you should be saving your money, or blah blah blah. Or maybe it's their appearance, and they just have really bad sense of fashion, and you just want to say to them, hey, you need to start dressing differently because you look like a weirdo. Um, or maybe it's their health, right? They're eating too much, they're gaining weight, they're getting fat, and you want to tell them, hey, you need to start eating healthier, stop going to McDonald's or whatever every day. So there's lots of different things you might want to tell people and say, hey, here's some advice. But there's a problem there. It's dangerous. That's what this verse is saying. It's dangerous sometimes to give people advice. Well, why? What is so dangerous about giving people advice? Well, there's lots of reasons, and that's what this verse wants us to think about. How can it be dangerous to give people advice, to share your wisdom? Well, first of all, you might be giving advice to the wrong person. Okay, there are certain people that just aren't really good at taking advice. Okay, you have two pictures here. On the top, you have someone who clearly does not want to hear this person's advice. And on the bottom, you have someone who seems like they're willing to listen. And those are the two different types of people. Some people don't want to listen to your advice. It may be good advice. It may be advice that might really help them and change their life. But there are times when you're talking to someone who just doesn't, they're either they're too prideful or they're just not the type of person that wants to, to listen to other people. And when you give advice to the wrong person, that can be dangerous because you may get a reaction out of them uh, that is either something that will cause you harm, right? If they become angry with you because of advice you're giving to them, well, now you've just made yourself an enemy and it's never good to make enemies and when you give advice to the wrong person that might cause them to maybe want to retaliate against you to harm you to make your life miserable because now they hate you now they're angry with you and that could be bad for you so you can give advice to the good advice to the wrong person you can give good advice but it's at the wrong time Right? There are certain times when someone just can't handle advice 
because they're emotionally unstable. Okay, what does that mean? That means there is a time when they're just extremely, extremely emotional, right? Like for instance, um, they're going through a, uh, a lot of grief, right? They're they're either like hysterically crying or they're just super, super upset about something, uh, really sad about something that happened in their life. That's not the time to start giving them advice. That's the time to zip your lips and just listen and just be with them. Anger, yes, horrible time to give advice is when they're angry, right? If they're extremely upset, uh, annoyed, irritated uh, about something and they're clearly emotionally unstable, right? They're just out of control. That's not the time to say, hey, here's what you should do. Yeah, that's a really bad time. That could be bad for you. Anxiety, right? They're just extremely in a state of extreme anxiety. And you don't want to give them advice at that time because when someone is at this point where they're just their emotions are just running wild. They're not going to listen to reason or to logic, right? It's not your time. That's not the time to use intellect for them, right? That's the time to wait until they are emotionally calm, right? Then you give the advice. And so this is, these are times, they're emotionally unstable. These are times to zip your lips, right? And to just listen and be with them and help them to calm down. You may give advice in the wrong place. Yes, you can give advice in the wrong place. You see this picture, someone is giving this person advice when all of their friends are right there with them. Well, that's embarrassing. If you give some advice in public, right? It's criticism in public when other people are are there and they're listening and they're watching. That can be embarrassing, okay? And so you may want to just hold off on giving your advice. Maybe really good advice that they need, but you may want to wait until they're alone and other people aren't watching and listening because that can be embarrassing. And that could ruin your relationship with that person, okay? If, they're, if they get super embarrassed about something that you say, some criticism you have for them, well, then your friendship May be in danger. And so those are all reasons uh, why there are times, you know, to just zip your lips and to be quiet and to store up knowledge. Okay. You reserve that knowledge for either another time, okay, a different person or a different place. And don't be like, the fool who just runs his mouth constantly and brings ruin, brings destruction, bad things that happen because he doesn't know when to zip his lips.